so hello guys i hope so you're doing super duper great and your mom is not angry at you by the way this in this video we're gonna learn about mix panel if you are thinking what the <laughs> if you're thinking what is mix panel basically this is like google analytics but better <laughs> simple okay it's not better than google analytics they have their flaws they have their goods and bads but this is quite great you know you can have you can track your user oh my god you cannot track your user on other sites i mean you can track your users on the site which you have created and you can you can get the user flow like after like sign up sign in where the user went and how does the flow happen all of those things so this, you can send custom data and you can form graphs out of it it's like quite awesome right we'll be understanding about this right now so yeah let's get started first of all uh, First thing what you have to do is you have to create an account in Mixpanel. I think I have already made one, right? Uh, so you can just, uh, before using this, just go for like, just look at the pricing because that's important, right? So yeah, I'll just sign in with my current account, which is this thing. I think I already have the account. Uh, so it will pop up. I'll just sign in. And I think here we go. Right. So this is the first dashboard we will get. The first thing what you have to do is you might get all other things, just set it up, create a project. I think it's self-explanatory. Like you can reach at this stage very, very easily. Then what you'll do is you need a project token, which what that you can get by going from to here and like, oh, sorry, you have to go to settings and uh, select the select the project and you'll get a token for that. Right. So for example like uh, this is the property loop test right so once i select this you'll see this project token in api secret by the way uh, in the like just for sending the data you only need the project token api token is used for when you want to custom do something custom very something something like which is very techy and stuff so let's get started first thing first give me a second yeah so the first thing which we'll be doing is setting up a project how are we going to do it we're going to do it like let the, those things keep be running let's close this up for now okay can we close this up come on man close this up yeah so okay so yeah i was actually implementing this for my company so i said i thought like let's let's <laughs> let's let's discuss this with you as well so that we both could actually learn this so what we'll do is we'll create a we'll uh, we'll run a command called wheat uh, yarn create wheat now now this will do something like this and will tell us to uh, let's call it pro mix panel now if you're thinking what is this this is the name of the package right and then what is the we want it in react and that too in normal react no type script right so we'll go to the We'll go to our pro uh, mix panel, whatever, right? So we'll go to this and we'll install the dependencies which we have, right? We have several dependencies, so it's fine. And after this, what we'll do is we'll simply run yarn dev that will run the development server which we have. Uh, and now our project is live on port 3000, right? This is it. So the first thing what you have to do is to set it up is like, let's open the dashboard for the, I mean, uh, documentation for this uh mix panel documentation right and let's go to documentation uh, and right and let's go to the javascript documentation so what you do is you need this package called mix panel browser whatever this package is let's copy the name from here because we are using yarn so we'll be installing it using yarn We'll call it yarn add and then whatever the name of the package, which is, which is there. So that's pretty much it. You have your mix panel installed. Uh, then what you have to do is you, it's pretty simple. Uh, then what you have to do is open this in visual studio code. Okay. Oh, it opened in some other window. Okay. So now this is a visual studio code. The next thing what you have to do is you, you actually have to, uh, open, then what? open the let's say the app file right and you want to send some data right so right so let's create a button for now just for learning uh, let's create a button and let's give it like send data something like that send data 
and let's write a function just to demonstrate you how this works is let's write a function called uh, button click right so uh, whenever this button is clicked this function will be called and we'll call it like on click right so uh, we'll say button click right right next thing what we'll do is we'll have to initialize the uh, we'll have to initialize the mix panel now how we're going to do it is we'll say import mix panel uh, from mix panel browser and then what we can do is we can call mix panel dot in it and now this takes a token now this is the same project token which i was actually discussing about so if i go here you see this project token right so you just copy this up uh in a production environment you will not do this you will paste it in your dot env file but for now because yeah you can do this and if you want like more highlighting like development uh environment which would help you so you, what you can do is you can just turn on debug to true right so which will help you to uh, get additional message which could help you to resolve issues i don't know is it like yeah no, it is like i don't know right okay so uh, now the next thing is like the here we have initialized the app the next thing what you have to do is you have to send the event so what you can do is mix panel right dot track and now you can give a name to this so let's say my fav button click whatever you can give it like whatever you want like was clicked right and you can send data with it so let's say for example here you you have a sign up or sign in and you want to send the user data so like, like i could send name and I could send class like let's say fifth and I can send other thing like a roll let's say 23 something like that and I can send this data whenever I click so first of all what I'll do is I will uh, open my browser right and we'll try to run this app refresh this right so just to check whether it is working fine or not just go to your network tab and you will see the false going like to mix panel right so this is the mix panel uh, the request going to the mix, mix panel right and what you what we can do is now we can just send some data right so okay and let's check whether uh, you can see all these responses going to the mix panel so now if we go to the mix panel and then what we have to do is you have to go to uh, this place and then a live view right so once you go to the live view you will see my favorite button was clicked which is like three times because three times i clicked and you can use this data to create visualizations now we'll learn that as well how to create visualizations using this data so let's go to dashboard right so you just this is like a very simple example if i click this right so right so you can see all of the properties which it has everything related to it right so you can even go to json format and you can see that right so you can see all the properties which we have passed like name roll number these are additional properties the default properties like time browser current URL, these are sent by default and these are the additional properties which you want to send along with the property like all other properties so you got the point right so you can send the data like this by the way in some cases let's let's say you have an ant antivirus or you have like some non tracking tool enabled in your browser then it might create an issue in that case what you can do is you can send the same request to your backend right and make the request like with the data make the request to back uh, like mix panel from your backend that will prevent like any sort of like this tracking issues because then what will happen is the origin will be same basically so the front end origin and your server origin mostly remains the same you have whitelisted that and that does not create an issue so if that is that the like so just remember if you're facing issues that might be due to the blockers which you have in your browser okay so yeah that's pretty much it so yeah you can you saw how i send data let's now learn how to create graphs out of this data so let's say if i go to a dashboard right so you'll see a blank thing over there there's nothing like for now right so what if you want a report to be there just create add report and depending on your data the selection might different dif like differ from retention report flow report so i'll go to the an insight report because like button clicks is like a sort of insight report right and then what you can do is you can set a matrix over here so what data do you want to correspond or what data do you want to actually show over here so what you can do is you can call event and then you can see my favorite button click right so once you once i do that how many times that event occurred you can see it happens for three times and like with full detail right so i have just plotted a date and once i save it right uh save report so 
I'm only allowed to make five in the trial version. You in the production version, you might get like more of it. So it's fine, right? So I can just close this up, and you can see that that data appearing over here very very successfully. You could have like as many data as you want, and just imagine like you can you can actually calculate the full flow. Uh, like if I would have like a, some sample sample data set, right? So let's let I'll just show you some sample data sets. Like let's say the social, right? Let's load demo. I'll just show you how in depth you can go, right? So you can have like the sign up activization, some sort of like this. Then this is a uh, uh, user retention data. And this is like consumer matrix. You could have all these sort of datas regarding your app. These are all custom data you can send and you can create a hell lot of features in your app. So I hope so this video helped you in if any in any way this video helped you I would like I'm really near to my 1000 subscribers so you know what to do okay man have a great day bye 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 <laughs>